cemetery in our backyard. <laughs> Friends and colleagues have come to celebrate the launch of iBrand, a new book by first-time authors Pamela and Olivia Sane. The book is a tribute to their late husband and father, Gary Sane, a marketing visionary who passed away suddenly and unexpectedly in 2012 at the age of 61. Olivia was 23 at the time. I had a very rough time getting through it. I was lost. My dad was my compass and he was my role model and my best bud. So Olivia was living with us um, and still at UCF when, when Gary passed away. And so we were, you know, unpacking the office and uh, that's where it all began uh, with, with Olivia. The book started out as just me going through my dad's office looking for words of wisdom because that's what I desperately needed from him. I needed guidance and I didn't know where I was going to go in life. I didn't realize how many people he mentored. I did not know all of the good that he did. As president and CEO of Visit Orlando, Gary Sane's marketing campaigns helped Orlando become the first city ever with more than 50 million annual tourists. Under his leadership, Orlando became the world's number one destination for tourism and business travel. He had great energy and it was infectious. Um, he was the kind of person to work with where he'd give you a list of 10 things to do and before you left the room he'd ask you if the first eight were done. He was a very positive influence on a lot of people for a lot of reasons, um, all good, no bad, and you could easily uh, connect with him because he somehow always asked the right question about getting to know you better. Gary always made people feel good. Always. When you were around him, when you were with him, when he walked in the room, he brought the energy up. He always pursued everything with the belief that it was going to work out, that there was going to be a positive outcome. And it was infectious. It was impressive. Sane inspired all around him to live their best possible life, and he always led by example, including doing 1,200 push-ups on his 61st birthday. I wanted to motivate my staff because we're doing a uh, sort of a wellness program. And uh, I figured if they saw me do this many push-ups, maybe it would mo motivate them to do something like, uh, you know, ride a bike five miles or walk two miles or do 100 sit-ups or whatever it may be. So this is a way for everyone to get involved. More than two decades ago, Sane trademarked the term iBrand, years before iPod, iPad, and iPhone, and began writing about the importance of personal branding, a term no one else was using at the time. Yes, he was a pioneer in branding before, you know, people like, you know, Kim Kardashian and all those people that are just basically living off their personalities and their personal brands. So he was, uh, I guess, a, a tremendous uh, pioneer in that sense. Sane wanted to write an iBrand book when he retired, so Pamela and Olivia decided to write it themselves, to share the wisdom of a man ahead of his time and to share their love for a man taken before his time. I really questioned, what would Dad think? Am I doing it right? But I am very spiritual and I had a lot of dreams of Dad, and I feel like he was delivering messages to me so we could accomplish this and pull it off. So we reached out to people that knew Gary, worked with him for many years and wanted them to share life lessons um, and also testimonials about how these personal branding, these iBrand principles really are put into place in real life. His iBrand idea is something that I've implemented actually in my law practice where I've taken younger people that I mentor and I've used Gary's iBrand idea to teach them how to market in the legal field. The result of Pamela and Olivia's collaboration is iBrand, a guide to building the personal brand you desire and a tribute to a marketing mastermind. I think he would be quite impressed with them. And, and I think that what he would appreciate is that they took his teachings that you should follow your passion, and that's exactly what they did to write this book. So to have his work carried on and now to make that accessible to more people is just, just amazing. We really hope his legacy continues to inspire other people and uh, he was a really good man and we loved him so much and when you love somebody like that you don't want him forgotten.
In their grief, Pamela and Olivia Sane were inspired by the man they mourned. Encouraged by his message of hope and optimism, they found their way forward. And I know our names are on the book, but it would not be a book without Dad. And Mom and I could not have done this without each other. Gary Sane's wisdom can be found within the pages of iBrand. And if you read between the lines, you'll find another message of hope and inspiration. I want people to know that you can come back from loss. Grief is very hard. People think you get over it. You don't, you don't get over it, you get through it. But this kind of gave us a new life, a new path.